Hello, Keith and Steve here at Rock Island again, and today we're bringing some more cool guns from the vault. And Steve, I believe that this one right here may have blessed the range down in Africa maybe once or twice. I think so. Uh, when I saw this in the Rock Island catalog, I had to have it in my hands to take a look at it. This is a 577 Nitro Express built by John Rigby of London, um, and it's built on a Webley action of all things. Webley surprised, uh, supplied the actions for these. So the same people that make those break open revolvers made that. Rigby sourced the action in the barrel and had their stock makers do their magic on it, add the sights. Really a nice package. But mainly, the reason I'm doing this, I was curious to see what this thing would feel like when you pick it up. And <laughs> it's heavy, but it's doable. You could, uh, you could bring this to bear fairly quickly on something trying to chase you down. Nice piece of engineering here. Uh, it's got all the Rigby features, the fine checkering, uh, engraving, tasteful engraving here and there. It's a working gun. It's got a uh, place for your initials here. Should you ever own this one day, nobody's bothered to do it so far. Um, it's been used. There's some repair marks here, some fills. Or it's been uh, been hit hard on something. Yeah, she's definitely seen a couple of safaris. Yeah, but the screws are still timed up. They've been they've been used a little bit, but they're timed up. Got that nice four mm -hmm. in there. That uh, that front sight, I understand, is a sleeve. Let me hold it still here. That's a sleeve that was sweated on. It was machined as a ramp with a sleeve on it and put on the end of the barrel. Pretty nice. Back here you've got express sights with a flip up and a standing. Well you got two flip ups and a standing. The drop on this cartridge is fairly substantial when you get past 7,500 yards. And uh, looking at this thing, when you work the action, action works super easy. Safety goes on and off with a real sharp click, but it cannot be moved without effort. So. It's smooth and yet it takes some oomph, yeah. so you're not going to accidentally set this gun off, which you don't want. And something like this could have just been the inspiration for Bill Ruger when he set out to design the number one, I'm thinking. Absolutely. Because there's a lot of similarities here that I see, but this is just a beautiful piece. It's much more manageable than you would think it would be. I don't know what this weighs, but I'll bet it's heavier than what I think it weighs. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And with the 577, the bullet's 750 grains, and the charge is 100 grains of cordite. Yeah, it's so pretty that's serious. a pretty pretty substantial punch right there. And yet, right here, back here, they've got what is a half inch recoil pad with a black spacer. So that's all they thought was necessary was this half inch sticky pad. Yeah. Now, one thing, you wouldn't have been packing this all around Africa on the hunt. Oh, no. Yeah, this is whenever you had somebody you that had was... a gun bearer. A gun bearer, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And then somebody younger and stronger. Stronger, yeah. <laughs> then whenever the, the game came up, and here they come charging, a bull elephant or a hippopotamus or rhino, then, all right, the game is on. Even better if you had two of these ready to go. Yeah. I can see why the double guns were, were popular, but they would weigh even more. Yeah. But two shots of 577 on tap, nothing to laugh at. No, absolutely Man. not. This is just a great, a great uh, example of English gun making. Stuff. Yeah. It really is. Um, you would find this stock very comfortable to handle and to shoulder. It's just the weight. You'd have to build up and you'd have to work out a little bit before you took this on the trip. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, that's, uh, we'd like to thank Rock Island Auction House for letting us examine this and many other fine firearms here. They've been really good to us. If you have any questions or comments about this gun, or if you've ever shot a 577 Nitro Express, let us know in the comments, because uh, I've never had that opportunity. I'm kind of curious. Yeah, and I'm, that's nothing that I really want to play with that much. <laughs> in the meantime, hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time when we bring you yet another gun from, from the, the vault. vault.